one branch of the military just observed its birthday. A big bash was held Wednesday night at the USS Intrepid. The Marine Corps celebrated its 248th birthday. The gala was hosted by Jim Axelrod of CBS News and featured a performance by the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps. That gala will be part of a special airing on Pluto TV next Sunday. Joining us now to talk about the special is Jerry Byrne, a Marine Corps veteran and the vice chairman of Penske Media. Jerry, this is the fourth year that Paramount has made a Marine birthday special for Pluto TV, but the New York City Birthday Gala has been going on for more than 25 years. I'm curious, how did this special come to be? Well, thank you. Uh, 26 years ago, <coughs> Harvey Keitel, a good friend of mine, also a Marine, and I decided that uh, if there was going to be a celebration uh, for the Marine Corps on his birthday, it had to be done in New York City because it's the media capital of the world and we had an opportunity to really send a signal to the world that the Marine Corps is, you know, a spectacular organization that really has a legacy like, like no other. So we created it uh, 26 years ago. The, to get Paramount and, you know, CBS involved was the miracle of my relationship with Rich Jones. I mean, uh, when COVID came along, uh, we didn't lose uh, a step by creating uh, this relationship we have with, with uh, Paramount and, and Pluto TV, where we have an extraordinary evening that gets packaged and put up on Pluto. And uh, I can't you know, thank the folks at Paramount and, and CBS enough for what they do. It's been great. We spoke with Rich uh, just last half hour, Jerry. Um, let me just ask you, what is the special? Explain a little bit about the awards and the honorees and, and what we can expect to, to hear from them during the special. Well, thank you. It's a great evening that really basically, you know, uh, is a, uh, it's a very simple annual event where there's a cake cutting ceremony. Uh, the Commandant of the Marine Corps is always our military guest of honor. And for the last 15 years or so, we uh, honor a Marine for life, meaning someone in the civilian sector who was a Marine who's made a difference. Uh, people like Fred Smith, Jim Webb, you know, uh, uh, are examples. Bob Parsons, who created GoDaddy. And this year was, uh, uh, you know, the, the General Dunford, Joe Dunford, who was the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And it, uh, it's really honoring the legacy and what the Marine Corps stands for in terms of uh, how the individuals who are Marines uh, make a difference in, in uh, who we are in the community that we live in. And it's such a great special. We're looking forward to watching it. While we have you here, I just want to ask you before you go, is there anything else that people should expect? Anything else that people should be looking forward to with this special that you wanted to mention? No, it's a great question. I mean, it's just uh, to sit back and enjoy it because it's very, very special. But you know, this being Veterans Day, uh, I, I take myself back to 1968 when I was in Vietnam, a young Marine Corps sergeant uh, uh, in a rather difficult moment uh, leaned across to ask if he could light my cigarette and, he, and showed me his Zippo lighter. And inscribed on that Zippo lighter was an extraordinary saying, for those who have fought for it, freedom has a taste the protected will never know. And that stuck with me, and it's one of the reasons that I am devoted to my fellow veterans and all Marines to send a signal that we do make a big difference. You certainly do, Jerry, and we thank you and, and everyone else for their service. Thank you for checking in with us this morning. We appreciate it. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you very much. And remember, you can watch the 248th U.S. Marine Corps Birthday Special that airs next Sunday at 6 p.m. on Pluto TV.